Restrictions. Travelers are sitting on billions of dollars worth of unused travel credits. And Cairo 7's Jesse Jones shows us how to avoid the runaround when trying to use them. They just don't have the customer support. All Clayton Wright wants is to see his grandchildren in Norway. Instead, he's stuck on his computer in Whidbey Island, well, I can't. trying to figure I out to if his flight credits are about to expire. It's a brick wall. I keep bouncing off the wall, and I've been at this now for three weeks. I'm giving up. I, I cannot contact them. Them is two companies, Expedia and Iceland Air. He booked a flight last year through Expedia on the airline that was canceled because of COVID restrictions. It's been a while, and now he's afraid the one-year credit will fly away. But the answers he's getting are grounded in confusion. When you go to Isla Icelandic Air, what do they tell you? You need to talk to, you buy your ticket through a third party, and that being Expedia, you need to coordinate this with Expedia. When you talk to Expedia, what does Expedia say to you? Well, this is a situation, the airlines dictate these policies, you probably need to take it up with the airline. Come to find out, Clayton is not alone dealing with all the vouchers, including those through third party purchases. Probably more outstanding vouchers right now than probably than any other time in, in, in modern history. Scott Kyes is the founder of the travel website, Scott's Cheap Flights. He says many airlines are automatically extending credits a few months to a few years, but you have to look at the fine print. When does this expire? When, uh, you know, does that expiration date refer to when I need to travel by or when I need to book by? And can will the airline extend this uh, expiration date if I ask very nicely? He says airlines may also swap destinations or passengers, but you have to call. Airline agents have a lot of discretion. And I can't tell you how many times, you know, I've called up an airline, I've uh, been told no the first time. But what about Clayton? He's made lots of calls. You know, I was going, I'm not ready to rip my hair out. I'm thinking, what is with this? So we contacted Expedia and Iceland Air. And guess what? He got this in his inbox. A reissued voucher good until 2024. Expedia representatives say they are investigating what caused the confusion between companies and say, we are very sorry that he had that experience. Rest assured that improving the experience around flight credit redemption is a top priority for our teams. So she went back to there. After all that, Jeez, Clayton's ready for a trip. But what he wants it to be it is a vacation, not a long journey. Yeah, I'll go into Expedia and look at the cost and then go direct to the airlines. Because I don't want anything to, I don't want to get that third party mixed up in it. Live and learn, I guess. Expedia says it's still working to improve its airline credit redemption process, but make sure of this. Read the fine print of your ticket and know that it's the airline's policies that govern the credit, not Expedia's. In Seattle, Jesse Jones, Cairo 7 News.